Internet was invented by people who were good at programming, and people keep optimizing it for different purposes. So Internet has been growing organically. Internet can achieve many things, but has advantages and disadvantages. The email system was designed by graduate students and researchers who know and trust each other. It stands as a representation of how we see ourselves, as well as how we see the world. There are poorly designed buildings, but also some great building works. In the Victoria era, architects designed buildings based on bricks and other materials. The design of flaws was based on lighting as it would not only affect appearance, but also health conditions. Research has shown that in certain situations silent meetings actually work better. Specifically, if the goal of a meeting is to brainstorm or solve a problem, silent meetings have been shown to generate better ideas. But why? Solutions to a problem will often be a novel idea, and novel ideas challenge convention. They can rock the boat and make people feel uncomfortable. Stress can be something that makes you better, but it is a question of how much, how long and how you interpret or perceive it. The other one is what we usually talk about, caused by poor time management. Good time management is essential if you are to handle a heavy workload without excessive stress. Time management helps you to reduce long-term stress by giving you direction when you have too much work to do. For thousands of years, philosophers and astronomers and thinkers of all sorts have imagined that the universe, the space around us was rather like this floor in front of us. It was fixed and unchangeable and things happen on it, just as people walk around. Hoover Institute at Stanford, who has pointed out what he called a philosophical issue that divides the Democrats from the Republicans. The philosophical issue is that the Democrats believe in big government and entitlements, and the Republicans believe in getting power down closer to the people, to the states, because they're kind of populist types.
If your job aspirations require a four-year degree, take my advice and choose a college you can afford, both during and after graduation. Take a realistic look at your anticipated income and factor in priorities that don't carry a price, like the spouse and children you might want to have someday. Over the same period, rising immigration in falling average household size has meant that the number of households looking for accommodation has risen by about one and a half million. That's around 200,000 more than the number of dwellings has increased by. So, you have had a substantial increase in the purchasing power of households. The report celebrates the success of some schools in implementing the citizenship curriculum. It praises those schools where there have been substantial developments in the subject, and which now go a long way towards fulfilling national curriculum requirements. Over the centuries, the first kind, the out-in-front, authoritative leadership, has generally been exhibited by men. Some men in positions of great authority, including Nelson Mandela, have chosen a strategy of leading from behind, more often, however, top leaders have been quite visible in their exercise of power. Women, as well as some men, have provided casual, low-key leadership, behind the scenes. The first few members are encouraged to report a good experience before they actually start making a profit. Others in their network follow their example, and the schemes balloon in size before it comes clear that most members aren't actually profiting. Some psychologists think that s because math anxiety decreases a cognitive resource called working memory that's the short-term memory system that helps you organize the information you need to complete a task worrying about being able to solve math problems or not doing well on a test, eats up working memory, leaving less of it available to tackle the math itself.
Why do we sometimes fail to perform up to what we're capable of when the pressure is on? It may not be so surprising to hear that in stressful situations we worry. We worry about the situation, the consequences, what others will think of us. But what is surprising is that we often get in our own way precisely because our worries prompt us to concentrate too much. There are other consequences of mindset people with a fixed mindset see effort as a bad thing, something that only people with low capabilities need, while those with a growth mindset see effort as what makes us smart, as the way to grow. Learn about deliberate practice and what makes for effective effort. When we understand how to develop our abilities, we strengthen our conviction that we are in charge of them. And third, listen for your fixed mindset voice, and when you hear it, talk back with a growth mindset voice. There is a lot of research on loneliness, and all of it is horrifying. Loneliness won't just make you miserable, it will kill you. I'm not kidding, chronic loneliness increases your likelihood of an early death by 14%. 14%. Loneliness causes high blood pressure, high cholesterol. It even suppresses the functioning of your immune system, making you vulnerable to all kinds of illnesses and diseases. If I came up through one skill as I oversee people with different skills, I'm just going to trust them to get it right and you have to. Of course you're not going to be able to understand what everybody on your team does all day, but if you can understand their motivations, their terminology, their way of communicating. Teachers play a very important role in that they become coaches. I would say that being a coach has three main functions. The first function is to motivate the student. Second function is to identify witnesses in the learning journal. And the third and most important function is to constantly suggest new learning strategies.
You don't do it with everybody, but it's an opportunity to agree to exchange extremely honest feedback by mutual consent in a safe and trusting way. I say to somebody who trusts, whose opinion matters to me, I'm getting up on stage. You're not going out of bounds if you tell me exactly what you think. I also tell people if they're going into a meeting, pick the person who's going to pull on their ear to let you know you're going off topic, whether your data is really not holding up in that room and getting an immediate sense from somebody, the unvarnished truth about what's going on.